discriminatory tax applied to But I want to know why is it discriminatory? It's not white. It's, it's not white. It's, it's, it's no, no, because you told, you told me you told me what is what is to be uh, sorry, what is discriminatory? You are discriminating. And you're it's asking me to pay for a tax that I don't want to pay because it's not my religion, but it's But yours. it's not your country. Who are you to dictate what no, you should no, pay no. or not? The country... The, you're you're missing the point. No, you're missing the point. No, if you live in a country, point. you abide by the yeah. law. No, Simple as that. Okay, but what if you were in one of the countries, for example? If you're one of the countries, right? It's not here. Yes. If you were here and the government introduced a tax system where Muslims had to pay 10% extra, would that be discriminating or not? Yes, it would be. Brilliant. Can I respond to that? You're in a Christian country. Can I? Oh, really? Really? <laughs> you believe this is a Christian country? Majority Christian, yeah? No, no, I'm not talking about the people, I'm talking about the constitution here. It's a Christian. No. So don't give me rubbish. Okay, the He's thing not is this. You rubbish. No, he is. Because, you... because it is not the people who actually dictate how much tax you pay. It is the government, which this guy doesn't know about. He is using this argument because he has Who prejudiced the government in that position. You live in a democracy. What's wrong with you? Except people vote. You Direct don't vote. Democracy. Ah. So now you're talking about legislation. The Queen puts okay. It's something you won't have in Sharia law. You can't vote. No, 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 no. no. What are you doing? You're comparing tax. apples and oranges now. The legislation dictates who pays Why didn't you and how much you pay. The jizya is an unfair tax. No, it's not an unfair tax. No, it's not. If you think it's unfair, then it is very. No, not everyone. The people who don't understand do. Shall I tell you why? Are you saying that if you live in a Muslim country, you should not pay a tax at all? That's not a tax. Can you please answer That's the question? That's not a tax. Can you answer the question? What you're paying... Oh, you were just we telling me it was an unfair tax. It's a now religious, I've got a tax. It's a Seriously, the double standard. It's a religious it's obligation on your part. So now, I'm talking about the Muslim. jizya. Is that a tax? What? You can call it a tax. You can call it what, what do you, you call it? What do you call it? It's, it's a, a tax. tax. That's what you call it. No, no, I'm not about the cat. I'm talking about jizya. Let's see if this guy knows what jizya is even. Well, I know what jizya is, but you're Is it a tax, it yes or no? I don't care if it is or not. If you're asking So what is it then? It. What is jizya, according to you? I know zakat. You know what is zakat. <laughs> I'm asking you, what is jizya? Zakat's in your religion. No, I'm not about jizya. I'm not about jizya. It'll, it'll, be, it'll be a tax. Do you know what is jizya, my friend? Well, you don't like tax. No, no, no. Who I'm saying? Who's going to pay he, for the road? He's, he's got to twist it. No, I'm not twisting. I'm asking you a simple question. What is jizya, according to you? What do we have to pay? If you don't If you don't even know... The tax officer is not answer the one second. The, the reason, the reason he doesn't even know what jizya, he doesn't want to tell us, is because why, why, he doesn't why, know it. Why do what is jizya? That? Why do I want to know that? Because you talk why about that, it. You problem? brought it up. At least know what you talk about. Because it's a tax that non-Muslim people would have to pay. What did you say? It is a it is a what? In a Sharia. What did you say? It was a, a tax. He never said it's not. He's a tax. not listening. He did. It's on he camera. He said he did. He said he doesn't care what it is. No, he said it's not a tax. Okay, so now we know we have established it's a tax. Now the next question is this. Who legislates? He knows no. The next question is this for you. This who legislates? So off topic who legislates number. paying of tax and how much? You're, you're running away from the main. Question, no, I'm not. Which I'm is, bringing you to the main I'm point. I'm paying a tax. Yes. It's not part of my religion, but I have to pay it because you're telling me to pay okay. it. Okay. First and foremost, like okay, please. What do you mean you don't like? One you minute. Like One minute. Religion. You know the reason. The reason. The reason we want. To, we want to tell him what Jizya is because he doesn't know what it is. Part of your religion. And he's okay. not part of that religion. By the way, you know, you have just... Listen, listen. You know, you, you have just committed a straw man argument there. Who said it's a part of your religion, Jizya? Huh? Who said what? Who said Jizya is a part of your religion? Listen, so, no, no. Is, By telling him to pay it... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Who told you Jizya is a part of your religion? You committed a straw man argument. Have you realized that? No. You no, know, no? Because no, you I, said, I no it's not my religion, why should I pay it? So he assumed that it's part of his religion. Okay, now here's the thing, because you don't know. No, it is a straw man. Because if you say, it is not part of my religion, it means you're assuming you're paying because it's part of your religion. So nobody said it's a part of your religion. The reason he pays jizya is because it's a protection. Are you listening? Okay. Jizya you pay because you live in a Sharia country and you pay Jizya. By the way, today most of the Muslim countries, in fact, 100% of them don't require Jizya. It's, been done, it's, it's something that they have pardoned the non-Muslims. In back then, Brilliant. you were good of you it. were offered no 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 no. Law. I'll tell you why it's not good because back then why it's not good. I'll tell you why not. Okay. I'll tell you why not. Back then, you if you pay jizya, your wealth and your life and your family's wealth and life were protected by the state. The state shouldn't protect it regardless. If you live in the state, do you, do you not pay taxes regardless? No, no, but you should pay yourself. Well, I'm asking you. Your, our taxes are based on our income, which means we are all treated. No, no, not the jizya. 
I'm not talking about jizya. I'm talking about tax in this country. Yeah, but we're talking about jizya. Let's Hold not up, mix it man. up now. Let's not mix it up. No, I'm you trying to draw the what? contrast of why it's wrong. What is wrong? Okay, jizya versus a normal tax here. We pay tax mm, here. Normal. Relax, bro. Man. Normal that tax based on your income. Oh, let him finish. Let him finish. Go on, finish it. I remember what I was going to say. Yeah, you were saying. Big, you be quiet. You, you were saying about the tax. Relax, man. The, the tax is based on the income. Is that what you were saying? It's okay. 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 Sorry. Let's have one discussion. Okay. Wait, I can't by, my point. by the way, very much. Okay, the man why, why is it line. why is it discriminatory? Okay, listen, taxes okay, here yeah. are based on our income, exactly. not on our religious belief. I agree. Not on something by choice. It's, it's based on what is given to us. Children, right? You have yes. Okay. So, 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 so now you're comparing this with what? With Islamic Sharia. Now, jizya is based on a belief or yes. lack of belief. Yeah, no belief. You on the belief. Not the lack of belief. I'm saying. I'm being. You are treating yeah. non-Muslims yeah, yeah, differently that. based that's the on their religious that. belief. That's the only thing well, you can't do that. You can't treat people differently based on their belief. Okay. Now this is based on the Bible or the secular opinion? Because every Islam, you draw everything back on. Yes. Do you know why? Do you know why? Do you know why? You should be able to justify Islam no, no, no. without attacking the Bible. I'm not attacking the Bible. Oh my God. I'm not attacking the Bible. Even drawing a comparison. You know why? You know why I'm asking this question to you? Listen. Listen. Have you not realized? That everything that you take an objection with Islam is based on your liberal opinion rather than the Bible. This is the point I'm trying to drive with you. Yeah. And this is not only you. Every Christian, wait, wait. Listen, listen. No, no. I'm going to answer. I'm going to answer. Who said I avoid it? I'm going to answer that point. Hold on, hold on. You already judged me before I answered. I'm not judging. You have. You have because you said I avoided the answer. Okay. Here's the thing. In Islamic Sharia, you pray. Guys, listen to this. Very important point. In Islamic Sharia, the Muslims. If you guys want to have a discussion, no, have it. Yeah, because then we get confused no, what we're talking about. Yeah. In Islam, yes, every male and every female who can afford it, they have to pay the zakat. And this is a percentage of their savings. Not of their income, not of the earning, but of their savings. Because you can you can be a multi-billionaire. Yes, you can earn a lot of money in one year and maybe earn nothing. But you still have like hoarded a lot of gold in your in your little uh, bank or whatever, yeah. Swiss account or whatever it is. In Islam, that person has to pay tax every sorry uh, zakat every single year. What's zakat for? Who does it go to? It goes to the poor people. There are actually eight categories of people to whom it goes to. That is one of them. It goes to eight categories. One of them, the main one, is to the poor people. The other, the other categories are people who have accepted Islam. Many Muslims. It's not for protection. It's not for protection. Wait, wait, wait! No, 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 no! It's not for protection. Who's always for protection? Lovely. So GCA is for state protection. Yes. And the Muslims get state protection for no fee whatsoever. Can I finish? That is lovely. Can I finish? You have done it. You have done it again. You have done it again. Before I finish my point, you just explained it to him. You judged. I have every right to judge on what you. No, but you should. You should. You should let me finish. You should let me finish. Go on, finish your point. Let me ask you something. The Muslims pay zakat, which is a percentage of their income, and this is applicable to both men and women. Now contrast this. Now this is an important bit. Contrast this with. Contrast this with the jizya. Yes. By the way, those who pay zakat, they are also obliged to join the army if the state requires of them. Okay. Now look at the the jizya. The jizya there is actually a fixed amount. I don't. I think it was less than 100 pound or something by today's value, maybe one gold dinar or something, which was a gold coin at that time. So it doesn't matter how rich you are. You could be a multi-billionaire, and you pay that upper limit, and that is it. Secondly, it is not required of the women in your family or the children in your family, and it's not required of anyone who's poor or in. With respect, it's all irrelevant. No, it is not irrelevant for you. Maybe it is the people who take objection to jizya. They need to know this. I'm No, no, no. I want to show you that who really should be complaining in Islam between jizya and zakat. Who should really be complaining? The Muslims, oh, no, the Muslims pay more. You pay more, and we pay for something. Hold on, hold on, free. hold on, hold on. The Muslims pay more. Yes. Yeah. The Muslims are obliged to take part in the army. The Muslims are the ones who sh who have to pay even for their sorry, even for the women folk or the women who are working, even they have to pay. But you see, the jizya is only the rich men who pay. They are not obliged to work uh, to basically take part in the army. Yes, or be conscripted in the army. They are protected by the law of the country. Anything that happens to them is now the direct accountability of the of the caliph. Now wait, wait, wait. Are you telling me that if these people who are the non-Muslims, 
Yes? Should they pay any tax at all? You're making an excellent sales pitch for introducing yeah. Jizya. Yeah, I tell you, it's, it's really fantastic. You're <laughs> almost making me think, damn, I'd like to pay the Jizya. No, but you would have to if you were living in a Muslim country, what? whether you would like it or not. I thought any rich people. So, you know... Are uh, you rich? Uh, you know? No, by no means. Okay, then you don't have to worry about yeah, it. Not yet. But, but do you not see, do you not see the difference between Zakat and Jizya? Who should really be complaining? Do you think the Muslims should be complaining that the non-Muslims get a really un... Sorry, uh, compared to the non-Muslims, they're getting a really unfair treatment. So it is in fact the Muslim issue. It's not about whether it's good or bad. The fact of the matter is, you're paying his zakat yes. because it's one of your five pillars of your religion. Yes. If he's not Muslim, zakat's nothing to him. So I why agree. should he pay it? I agree. Who said? You can dress it up and tell me how great it is, exactly. how poor I am, how I go in the army. That's irrelevant. It's all irrelevant. But you're bringing By the way, it, it, who said yes to pay zakat? I don't know what you're on about. Why should he pay zakat? No, no, no. What's Jizya? Jizya, sorry. Not zakat. <laughs> what have we been missing all this time? So it's the equivalent for non-Muslims. It's not equivalent. Yes, it is. You see, no, the reason I, no. the reason, you know, the reason I listen, wanted to drive this point. Why did we get to? Let me ask you this. The reason he attack. did not listen to a single word I said. He listened to everything, but like I said, he did I, not because if he did, then he wouldn't have asked this question. No, because his point is what the core root. What? What is the core root? You dressed it up. You gave all this brilliant sales pitch on it. That's lovely. It's excellent. What Wonderful. sales pitch? It wasn't a sales pitch. Yes, it was. It is to show you. It is good. It is. Are you a freeloader? The reason. <laughs> then in a society when where you're living, you have to pay. Yes. Money, 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 the money that you, if you're a freeloader, then okay. Well, you said two minutes ago, yeah? You said, you said two minutes ago. The tax that we pay, yeah, it is very yeah, to yeah. fix No, it doesn't matter. Yeah. 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 Our money as well. But no, no. He said it goes to charity. There's eight different things. Eight, eight different charities. Your religion. No, no. But hold on. Hold on. So my money is paying to fix the roads. And our money as well. No, no. Your money is going to charity. No. So in paradise, you get fucking reward for him. Well, what do I get? Wait. Are we going to help? Wait, 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 exactly. By the way. I'm burning barbecue in hell, mate. By the way, are you, are you worried about your afterlife? No, I'm not, but that's a good idea. Then why are you worried about what's going to happen to your charity in the afterlife? No, no. What a you're dumb point. You're missing the point. No, you're, 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 you're the dumbest point ever. This is all you did. It was. Rush over because the, the thing is this, the thing is this. Like he asked you, do you want to pay anything to the government when you live under it? Do I want to? Yes. No. Okay, but if the government requires of you, what do you do? I have to pay it or, or face the punishment according to the law of the land I live in. Or, or, just one more, one more option. Leave. Exactly. Oh, lovely. So, so now were, the question is this. You were uh, born uh, in a territory conquered by the Ottoman Empire. Yeah. You just I don't know, get up and walk thousands of miles and leave. So you no, you don't. Easier. Oh, so you're in your you don't. To pay the so you pay you pay the minimum jizya, yeah. which is really not unfair if you ask me, for living under the protection. Ship. Again, it's irrelevant. I Why is it irrelevant? It's irrelevant whether or not it's fair, whether or not it's a large amount, small amount. It's, no, no, it's very relevant because mainly when it comes to finance and monetary things, it is always the amount you pay. People will not people will not complain that if you have to pay tax every year, if you had to pay only one pound tax in this country every year. Trust me, no one will complain. I'm here, man. I'm yes. But when you have to pay more, then only you complain. Okay, so now, look, I still don't know your objection is like, why do the Muslims pay zakat and why do the non-Muslims pay? This is one example. This is not discriminatory, if you ask me. The discriminatory would be if they were unfairly treated after paying the jizya. You're selling, you're selling the features and benefits of that particular tax. Yes. But the end point is, it's, what? it's, a, it's a religious based Tax. No, it's not religious. It is not religious. It is not religious tax. Who told you that? You pay your 5%. It no, it's a protection. Listen, listen. If you want to just translate it, it's more of a protection money for you. Hold on. You're saying protection money. What? Yes. If you live in a country, if you live in a country, you pay certain things called the tax. Unless you want to be a freeloader, like you said. Chill, chill. Okay, listen. Discrimination. Yeah, I did, yeah. Ridiculous. Just, I'm not walking much more on there. Huh? Yeah, yes, yes. Right. Yeah. Listen, yeah. you said that you don't think it's discriminatory, right? Yeah, I don't. Discrimination is treatment or consideration of or making a distinction towards a person based on the group class or category to which the person is perceived to belong. Absolutely. Uncle, the GTA tax is a very definition of discrimination, regardless <laughs> of its features, regardless of whether or not it's less or more. It is the very definition of discriminatory. Okay, when you read the dictionary definition, did you take the context into account? Why is it? Because you know, if oh, I Lord, if I'm God going, help me. okay, listen, if I'm going to use that definition, let's, let's say that you no. guys all believe in human no. sacrifice. You know what? Just no, no, wait. A minute. According to the definition of human sacrifice, anyone who believes that a human has to be sacrificed to atone their sins, then they believe in human sacrifice. So all Christians are pagans. You know, if you go without context, 
this is what we do. But the reason you only abide by the dictionary definition, the reason you go by based on secular definition, no, is because based you on your faith, far, you have no grounds to stand on. Yeah, make a point. Saying that is but discrimination, but it's a form of positive discrimination. You could actually potentially. But I don't consider that. it as discrimination. If any discriminatory objection was there, it would be the Muslims who would be you can't doing it. You find the no, word of what it means. It would be, it be the Muslims, but I told you take Water. the context into account as well. Otherwise, you'd be, all Christians believe in human sacrifice. I, I genuinely no, enjoy but, talking to you a lot of time. No, you but you're not points, listening to him. Points, but you, you are really cocking up badly. No, listen, I think listen. you are taking away the context from the discussion. And that is a very bad thing to do, do you work in, in a logical society? debate. Do you do I work? work? No, yes. I'm a student. Okay, if I, I mean, I used to, I mean, I used to have a... Do you pay your loans? Do you pay interest on your loans? I haven't started earning enough to pay my loans. When you work, exactly, but you are required to, right? When you start earning that much. HM revenue will come behind okay, you. Okay, now, is that, is that, is that, is that, is that, it's a tax. Is that discriminatory? Yes. Wait, no, you don't want to, I never get my book. If you live in Islamic society. Try, try to pay the tax and just wait for about a couple of months and see what happens to your dog. I think what... Could anyone, anyone tell, tell me that I'm not paying my taxes when I said I'm not going to pay my loans? You'll get in jail. So you, you don't want to pay in the Muslim society the taxes required from you. Actually, you already paid You're not paying it. discriminatory and you're not paying it. You're so not paying it. Okay, okay. Why? You, according to your definition of secularism, not even your faith, but one minute. According to your definition of secularism, yes. you might consider it discriminatory. Just like according to your definition. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. According to the definition hold on. of discrimination. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Was it discriminatory for Mary to get pregnant without her, her oh. Content, oh. consent? Oh. Right, without her consent. No, no, based on discriminatory, he's saying according to his definition, it's discrimination. I think to make a 20 year old pregnant without her consent is far worse than any discrimination. Do you agree? Do you agree? It's discrimination to me. Well, it is to marry who took her consent that she has to be pregnant at the age of 12. No one. You see what I mean? The reason you judge everything based on liberalism and not Christianity is because it's not. You've changed the subject completely. I had to in order to make you realize because you know you guys were going in circles. Sometimes you have to strike where you are not looking at the logic behind the discussion. Is your tax based on no, your religion no, no, no. or not? Are you, why are you worried? You're not even in an Islamic state, so what are you worried about? Look, if you don't like Islamic okay. state, so we're, you we're discussing move something. Yes. So, what? so, so if you, because look, you're just listen, 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 listen. They're not here now. You, have, worry you have three options. You have either to pay the jizya, if it's implied, like I said, today in other Muslim countries, expect of it. In fact, most of the Muslim countries until recently was completely tax free. So you take 100% of your wages home. Wonderful. But really, are you complaining? No, wait, wait. Um, Based on that, what's the point? The point, you know, you said brilliant because there's no tax to be paid. Wait, wait, one second, mate. Now, now, wait. Okay, okay, please. If you want to talk, you can always talk because I get confused when so many people are talking. Now, based on that, if you were in a Muslim country who had no tax to pay, when they come to this country, would they say, oh, you got being discriminatory? Because my country doesn't require any tax to be paid, but yours does. Does he have the right yeah, to say your country is discriminating? Can you can you please do you understand the logic behind this? This is the point. This is I, you I missing. What missing? You're, you're completely missing the point. What point? Taxes here are not based on your belief, which is not objectively provable. It is based on your income, which is objectively provable and verifiable, and therefore fair. And the tax people at different rates. You think tax is fair in this country? Seriously? What, what do you know about taxes in this country that you think is fair? The 40, do you know? The 40, do you know who? Do you know who actually avoids the most tax? The richest in this country, and and wait, wait, and corporations like Apple and Google and all that—they have their accountants so please don't tell me it's fair okay it's never fair my friend my friend your objective fairness which you just thought you had no clue about the taxes no, 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 in this no. country i didn't say it's objectively fair okay I so never said that. what in what said that. in what case is it fair then? i said there's a very stark there's a stark difference between taxing people based on their income and taxing people differently based but it's on their not based on income who thought it's based on income that's what you want to be what saying. No, now, current. So no, no, I'm talking about, I'm talking about currently as well. Is taxation in the United Kingdom based on your income? In theory, yes. In practice, no. How much is that? 
Do you understand that point? We're talking about theory. No, we are not about theory. No, 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 no. Practice ignore is the most. Practice. Okay, ignore the practice of Jizya. Because the Muslim countries don't actually require it. Ignore it. Come on, let's ignore it. That is uh, so a requirement of the state. Yeah, required by Sharia. Exactly. That is the law. Um, but you're, it's, so it's, it may be discriminatory in your def definition, of, which is fine. Absolutely. You're putting a load on discrimination. It's still saying there's a difference between you and you. That's fine. No, but he's saying discriminatory based on, based on, based on you're comparing apples and oranges. Do you realize that? Elementary is discriminatory. No, no, no. It is what it is. I know that you're comparing apples and oranges because what you're doing is you're looking at a secular, non-religious country and you're comparing its laws, listen, listen, you're comparing its laws to that of the Muslim country's laws. Yes? And that's the reason I'm saying you're the one actually missing the point. I think the point is you don't actually understand the concept. No, I do, I do, I do. Because your discrimination is based on your If you're not a Muslim, live in a Sharia law society, you won't get fair treatment. Simple as that. What if you were a Muslim? If you are not a Muslim. Oh, how is it unfair? Tell me. How? He made a point, let's we've see how he's unfair. We've been discussing it for the last hour. Which part of that was unfair? You're paying a religious-based tax. Yeah. Yeah. Still a tax, Which bro. you need to pay because it's part of your religion. Yes. But I have to pay because in that Because sense. someone because has the law the country. No, because somebody protects you in that country. No, but somebody protects you? Yes. Fire brigade. Unless you want to be a freeloader. Do you not need protection then? I do. So what? Why? <laughs> we build a country. I do. So why do they call it? Why, why don't we just call it tax and make it fair for everyone? Do you know? Do you know? And me and you listen, pay the same listen. thing. Why do you have to pay zakat to do good? Why are you shouting? Calm down. Calm down. Don't you shout. To get a word in. So to why get a you word in, you don't have to shout. Calm down. So, what, so you're paying a tax yes. or a zakat, whatever you want to call it, yeah. which is part of your religion. Yeah. yeah? I have to pay that. Come no, you don't pay zakat. You don't pay zakat. I'm paying a tax. You're paying jizya, which is not zakat, and it's not jizya, based on your religion. What is jizya in English? Jizya is not an English term. It's an Arabic term. Jizya in English yeah. would be roughly translated as the uh, ahli kitab, the people of the book who have to pay it. So now it's you're. So now I wouldn't call it tax. What would you call it? Then? I would call it, call it in the case. Term, in, there is there is no modern term for jizya, because. The yeah, country yeah, today. I'll just, I'll just we have no that. issue with it. Is that poll tax? Can I? Can I? Can yeah, poll tax. Uh, okay, man, let Ali make a point. Go. Can I, can I just add a Everybody else did. No, no, start. <laughs> made a very valid point. Though. No, no, go on. Yeah. The, 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 this is this is a scenario between Umar bin Khattab and a Jewish man. Yeah, okay. Umar was passing. Uh, Umar, you know Umar bin Khattab? Brother Allah. You don't know him, yeah? Second caliph. Second caliph. Second, second, second caliph. Yeah. yeah. Okay. He was passing uh, uh, um, by a, a Jewish man, an old man. Yeah. Okay. And he found the man begging. And Umar touched the old man and asked him whether he was a Christian or a Jew. Yeah. So he asked the man, "Are you a Christian or a Jew?" The man said that he was Jewish. The blind man further said to the, that he begged in the day so he could provide for himself in the daily needs, for his food and to pay the jizya. Yeah. Look what Umar ibn Khattab says. To which of the people of the book do you belong? He said, "I am a Jew." Responded the blind man. Umar took him by the hand, led him to his own house, gave him something from it, food, and then sent him to a keeper of the treasury with this message. See this man, so this is a letter that he wrote to the man, yeah? See to this man and his life, for we have not done right if we devour their youth and neglect their old age. The religious tax is for the poor and the needy. The poor are the Muslims, um, the needy are the pre uh, Christians or the Jews, yeah? He freed the man from paying the Jews. Why are the yeah? needy the Christians and the Jews? That's, that's what he says. I don't know why, why they said that. That's one of the rulings to whom it should be paid to. No, I'm saying that why, yeah, yeah. why is the word needy being specifically applied? I don't, I don't, no, 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 the poor, the poor are the needy. The no, no, poor no, no. are the needy. Yeah, no, 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 the needy of the Jews and Christians. Yes. They, they could be needy of the Muslims. They could be needy of the Rast okay. uh, Rastafari. Because the wasn't me specifically. Okay. No, 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 no. So what I'm trying to say is... Is the poor among them? What I'm saying is, yeah. if it was discriminatory, like you're saying, yeah? Yeah. Umar ibn Khattab would never grab him by the hand, yeah. would have never took him to his house. Yeah. He would have said, oh, you're a Jewish man. Yeah. yeah. The most he would have done is, okay, don't pay the tax, yeah? But the thing that you need to understand is the same aspect with the Sharia law. When people come and say to us, oh, you guys can stone to death and cut the hand of the thief. We're like, look... No, no, you cannot tell me where to stand, yeah? Yeah. No, no, you cannot tell me. Okay, all right, okay. <laughs> nah, I know, he's a joker, man. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You can't my friend a joker? <laughs> in a good way, man. <laughs> so basically, if it's not discriminatory in that aspect. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Because at the end of the day, when, when lands are being conquered, so for example, the Romans, when the Romans would conquer lands, yeah, yeah. They, they would, believe me, people would love yeah. if the Romans came and said, we will spare your life. Listen. 
Very quickly. Yeah. Why very quickly? Don't break. I want to forget my point. Okay, forget. Remember, in your head, just repeat in your head. Oh, yeah. Write it on your phone. Good. Okay. Now, the Romans, when and other uh, empires, yeah, they would never give this. They would never ever give this option, yeah. We'll kill so them. the Muslims, yeah, of course, kill them, ransack them. Trust me, no option you, of Jizya. Believe me, if we brought the Christians and the Jews who lived at the Islamic State, yeah, at that time here, okay, they would say we would rather live there and pay two point, uh, not even two point, sorry, less, one dinar, less, one dinar, one dinar yeah. then coming and paying forty percent uh, ta tax. So the issue is now, have you ever lived in an Islamic State before? I have not. Okay, should we go and look at people who have lived in an Islamic State and see what they say? Should we do that? Because you know why? Because, yeah, no, because, be because, because... It's not part of the argument. No, but... We, we, had, we had it in you Syria, it wasn't right. No, 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 sorry, but there, there you go. Syria, what? You had it in Syria, yeah, you're right, because that's not Islamic State, that's, that's... Well, what, what is it? Which, which Syrian yeah, emperor... So Which Syrian emperor imposed Jizya? Oh, okay, one second. One second. What country, right, one second. Now, what country, right, what country right now would they, you they, define it? Apparently, there isn't a pure Sharia law in the whole world. <laughs> <laughs> None of the Islamic countries Syria. today no, imposed Jizya. No, no, one second. No, okay. What's an Islamic state? Is and this is this oh, is the problem. State? What you said there, my friend, Saudi is Arabia, the very example, reason that Quite, you should cut down the TV and read it. Yeah, because that's what. What? So you make the assumption that I watch TV? You, if you do not watch TV, I do not know who watches TV. Certain parts of you watch TV is football. That's it. Was it, was it? Listen, was it? Was it? listen was let me, let me, there's enough information out there for yeah. you to go and get get whatever you need to get from yeah. lots of different sources yeah. without watching TV. Okay. You just stand there. Yeah. You, listen, you can say what you want to say. Yeah. The, the, what we were talking about originally, that tax is unfair. On it's not unfair. No, 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 you can't say it. Just admit to it. That's it. That's we what told you many times. Not unfair. Clarification what, what, that this year is the tax for the people of the book. Yes. yes. What do the atheists pay? Um, oh, they get killed. Do you, do you, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I want to know the <laughs> answer. Yeah, well, it's, 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 a, it's, a good, it's, it's a good question, but I don't have the knowledge. So you don't have the knowledge. Come on, you bro. I repeat, I, re I, re I, re I repeat again. Maybe you get. I, I repeat again. I'm not going to come here and talk about matters I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Now, yeah. now, one second. Let him know. finish his point I'm before he forgets. I'm trying to make a point. Yeah. Okay. So to laugh at someone that doesn't know something is a bit silly and a bit childish. You know why? Because and I'm not going to pretend laughing, I know something you know that it. I don't know. You, know you, 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 you just took the piss out of me watching TV two minutes ago. Yes, you do. How, okay, how do you know so, so, Islamic State is Syria? Sorry? How did you find out Islamic State is Syria? Yeah. How did I find out? Is that how did, did you have a dream, a vision like Paul had when he was going to Damascus? No, because yeah, I know people who yeah. traveled to Syria and came back. Yeah. Okay, so you know people that... that you know, was, they, they, one they, second, they, who do you know he went? Because that sounds a bit dangerous. You know people that traveled to Syria and came back? What, so everyone in Syria is a terrorist? Is that what you're saying? No, no, no. You so said why, you why, know people so who've gone that? to Syria. What have they gone to Syria for? They got family there. They're originally from Syria. That's There's why. There's a war happening in Syria. Yeah. No. Okay. So you. So you, you, so, you didn't specify okay. when they went there. One second. One second. One second. Okay. By the way, no. they, they need an answer to the question no, about. Syria was before you're, they you're, not, you're, not, you're not answering my question. Ali, Ali, you, you, said, said, no, no, you said. I, I asked five minutes you said to get word in. Said okay. Speak. But you what said, was your question, by the way? You said my, my question was, have you lived in an Islamic state? Oh, I see. He said no. I said, should we go to the people in history who have lived under it and see what they say? You got a time machine. And then you came and said, yeah, what time machine? Kind of. Kind of. Yes. No, no, better than that. Yeah. Okay. Better than they can live in Islamic state. Sorry. Would you like? To live okay, by the way, by the way, Ali, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, Ali, Ali, he would, because nothing will happen to him. No, 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 you know, you would love to live in it. Should I tell you something? Let's look at, let's look at Jewish oh, okay, people. Bro, allow okay. preaching, man. Ali, you, you, allow you're preaching. broadening this when there is more okay. You can look, you can call it preaching, but you're preaching, coming in, preaching. Monologue, you're Let, let's answer that previous question, yeah, the one that asked. We have given Hashimun to the other one. No, no, you, you ask happens. You ask the question what happens to the uh, the non people yes. of the book have and non Muslims. So there's there's two different opinions on this. One, at that time when they used to have wars against each other, the pagan Quraysh and so on, yes. they no no it wasn't that. There are two options. One option that they actually accept Islam. If they disagree to accept Very Islam, wonderful. listen, listen, listen. If they disagree to accept Islam, they have the they have the right to migrate. If they, they have the right to migrate. Wait, wait, wait. That's a right. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, it's better yeah, than what the Christians gave them. Yeah, so it's a mess with the children. So, yeah. but, 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 so better than the... So our religion or, or F off? Yeah, yeah. What's the third one? The, the, by the way, it wasn't F off. It was migrate. Yeah. Do, like I said, do not use your logic. Okay? okay? This, the, the, the third option was, if they still insist, then they should fight. Yeah. Fight? Yes. yes. Oh, wow. What? So they can't just... Now, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Now the final bit, the final, no, yeah, let's, let's guys, guys, let's wait a minute, I still haven't finished. The final bit, like today's governments, they have the right to now abolish the jizya, if they want, not abolish in the sense that completely say that it is haram or anything, but they have the right to say, no, no we don't require jizya because we are self-sufficient. And they have the right today 
Many of the Muslim countries that countries have now allowed Hindus. You go to Gulf countries, yeah. thousands of Hindus there. Yeah. Yes, hundreds of thousands who are not uh, people of the book. So now it is also up to the ruler to allow them to stay in the country without any penalties. So oh, they have the choice. So why not? Why are you guys quite now? Why are you guys quite? The ruler has the choice. Why are you talking about what? I gave you four yeah. options. Yeah. What were you four. Which part? Which part were you shocked because about? Because none of those options were just like, oh, you're a human being, you can live here. Yeah. Oh, so now you go back. And, and, wait, wait, wait. I mean, what do you think? It's the same in the UK, right? You're a human being, you can live here. What do you think was the fourth point? Because if you're working, you have to pay tax. That's yes, but not a discriminatory tax. It's not a discriminatory. We told you already. By the way, I gave you the fourth option. Ali, Ali. Genuine. Can I say something? You're living in a fair No, no, wait, wait, Ali. You said it was. Sister, wait, wait. You said it was inhuman. I want to know from the fourth option what was inhuman. What was the fourth option? The fourth option. The ruler decides who wants to live and not. Because it's without imposing any it's punishment. Up to the ruler, not without, the of course. Being. The human being should have so the, the right to decide could, where. Who do you think legislates the laws? The, the, the ruler could. <laughs> say, and you actually don't. You have, what if you were dying from thirst and hunger? Would you give your iman up, your faith up, in order to survive? Probably not. Probably not. Because you'd rather die in hunger and thirst than give up your religion, right? This is how much we value our faith. It's priceless. Brothers and sisters, let me introduce you to Norway. This is a European country where the vast majority of people have become irreligious. There are 200,000 Muslims of a population of about 5 million. And most of these 200,000 Muslims have no idea how to explain Islam to their non-Muslim friends and neighbors. But that needs to change. Allah sent his messenger to call people to eternal success. And that is why Muslims in Norway are now establishing a masjid and dawah center to enhance the Norwegian dawah. But they cannot do this alone. We need to support them. If you donate to this cause, you will inshallah reap the rewards of thousands of Muslims coming back to Islam. And many of those will become du'at and invite to Islam. You will share in the reward for all those shahadas and good deeds to come, inshallah. So click the link and donate now and share the video for extra reward.